Hello, my name is Hotsasti. If you have seen anything on my channel, it's mostly uh, blender tutorials, kayaking videos, and uh, lots of uh, open patrician game development stuff. And you might ask why there is no much progress on the uh, open patrician front. And at least in part, uh, Minecraft is to blame. Uh, as I have started uh, pretty late with, uh, with version 1.12, uh, one and a half year ago, and I'm pretty hooked. But now with uh, the uh, version 1.14 uh, out of the door, I decided to uh, uh, start a new world and to basically finish the one world that I started with uh, 1.12 and then upgraded to uh, 1.13. Uh, I wanted to do a world tour to show off uh, what I achieved there and uh, depending on how well this is uh, received by the community there might be uh, more Minecraft videos. So let's start where everything began at spawn. And once this was a forest but if you need wood what do you do? You cut down a forest or two. So first thing was to find a nice cozy hidey hole uh, which is over uh, this way and on the way uh, we pass uh, through this uh, this wall which basically goes around all the uh, the uh, home base as uh, I was fed up uh, with uh, killing mobs and lighting everything up. So I created this wall that goes all over my base. Uh, back there, over there and then back around. And inside everything is lit and sometimes I get some mob spawns over there. And from up here we also have a, a nice view. This monstrosity here is uh, my iron farm, which will no longer work with uh, 114, which is one reason to basically start anew. And then we also see some other builds that uh, we will check out soonish. So back in here we see uh, we have some stone paths that lead to the exits through the wall which uh, are uh, basically uh, all the same as uh, this one with pressure plates on the inside, buttons on the outside. Uh, the four walls are uh, colored in different colors, um, pinkish I guess. Red is the longest stretch because uh, um, I get uh, loads of uh, poppies from uh, this guy here. Uh, yep. And uh, then over there we have orange, uh, another red one over there and then in the back uh, there is yellow. So on to the uh, hidey hole um, which was this cave in here. Uh, was once full of chests and furnaces now uh, Mo almost everything is uh, is moved out. In here is my uh, nether wards farm and the uh, portal. 
uh, we will go into the nether later on then down here uh, is the is the mining uh, facility branch mining at uh, level five um, then out here we have uh, a cocoa bean farm and uh, this nice lantern setup and this is the to-do list um, which I will not come to um, the first two that's basically uh, those rings here that would go up and over and down again into the hidey hole so I could uh, extend this building this way um, then over here we have a fishing shed I quite like this uh, this design it's one of the, the nicer ones and basically this is the fishing rod I do all my fishing with um, and then some some chests mostly empty um, then there's a hole in the ground we will look at it later um, what we have over here this is a new 1.13 build uh, kelp farm I think the design is by Kopfen not sure if uh, it's his original design but uh, I think I, uh, I took inspiration from from him and then over there this monstrosity we will have a look this is the dumpster this is a new design I tried out the uh, floating end rods uh, it's it's good for for lighting but it looks a bit weird and pressure plates uh, dumb stuff in there and it goes into a pool of lava and up here for uh, flying safety there is a, a warning light so we don't crash into it well the warning light is on two sides that the two are facing this area and from up here we have a nice view also onto this side um, pass extends uh, this way through these two type of uh, bridges uh, which from a design perspective I quite like I'm not the builder that's something I want to improve uh, in the in the next uh, setting then over there we see a hole in the ground and back there that's the greenhouses we will see later on So back on the ground, um, we will have a look into this building here. This is something I tried to uh, to design, and it somewhat worked. 
In here I have uh, my enchanting station with uh, lapis, books and stuff to enchant. Uh, over here uh, different chests with, uh, with books. And on this side it's basically uh, armory with chests of uh, tools and, uh, and armor. Then there is also a knuckle level, which is a bit tricky to get up. So um, this is the uh, bedroom. Uh, or is uh, music player and back here is nothing and in here is the brewing station with uh, the uh, ingredients and uh, some of the potions So back in the center um, we have a map of the uh, whole compound. Um, there we see uh, the way goes out there. That's the direction to the bridges which uh, goes through, uh, went through a forest and then onto plains and then to the to a classic uh, mob farm. Maybe we will see it later. Then over here is another bridge, uh, model looking towards this hole in the ground. This is the greenhouse and then we have a pass out here that goes to a village. So let's sneak our way around here and out this door. Ooh, it's not dangerous. And this is the hole in the ground and it's a slime check. And it took a while before I had this slime farm. I uh, had to collect all my slime in a in a swamp biome. So let's get in here to safety, where there are no mobs. Uh, save uh, uh, phantoms, and in here uh, we have all the uh, farms. Sugarcane on this side and uh, pumpkin and melon on this side. Quite full. Then we have here an automatic uh, carrot farm. Um, potato farm. Uh, cactus farm. Uh, which also cooks the uh, cactus and the uh, uncooked is in here. Then here we have a cow cooker and a chicken cooker. Um, down this hole we go to the wheat farm output. Output for the uh, the other two farms is on the other side. Then we have a pen for cows and uh, pigs. And one for sheep and horses. Uh, 
and this is another wheat and uh, uh, sugarcane farm because uh, for uh, breeding the cows I need the, the wheat and not the the bread so and it's quite efficient and on this side are uh, also some uh, beetroot and then over here we have uh, this building it's a map building as you can see um, Oi! With a new uh, bubble elevator. So, and it's a map of the end. Uh, I created it because I tended to get lost. And where is the uh, origin? Um, uh, over here. So, um, the idea was uh, that this map would grow and it it borders on, on this side, so I would have to extend it that way. And that way um this is in the way so now let's have a look at what we skipped previously uh that's underground so here we have some chests one is labeled coal and the others are empty and over here we have another chest full with stuff and a trap door that leads underground uh in here we have two smeltery rays. Um, one is uh, for the uh, kelp, which goes into this minecart, um, and then if I can jump, um, this empty one would. Dry the kelp, and in here we have uh, dried kelp uh, to be crafted into kelp blocks. Um, that's one part. Then here we have the uh, other part that uh, basically sucks in the uh, or sucked in the uh, uh, coal from uh, from here goes in there and uh, the stuff to smelt from above and on this side over here uh, it goes up through this uh, dropper elevator and there is also a way down into a water stream goes into hopper into this big cave all dug out which is the sorting system uh, there are pretty much every item in the game that's stackable uh, has its own chest uh, on one, two, three, three layers that are fully uh, filled and uh, this last one is partially filled and we have also slime chunks done here 
So this was a project, and uh, every 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 time a new uh, item type needed to be sorted, it got extended. And I'm not sure if I would do it uh, the same way again, especially for uh, those blocks. There are some chests uh, behind here for uh, overflow. So probably a uh, shulker box loader would be uh, better. Uh, then there are lots of chests, all empty. <coughs> and here below this uh, this carpet, uh, there are droppers that uh, allow you to uh, drop items directly in it from above. So, if we have a look at this uh, large map over here, we are here. And uh, there is a Mesa biome, there is another one. Uh, this over here, this is my sand pit where I mined all the sand for the glass. Um, we will have a flyby um, now. So to finish off the uh, overworld tour, we will switch into game mode spectator. And have a quick fly around. First out here where there is another farm over the uh, ocean. And as you can see, it's a creeper and gunpowder farm. By the way, the, the all the designs for the farms are not my idea. I'm not that bright. So uh, they are mostly, I guess, by uh, guys from uh, Cycraft. Or some of the bright minds. Then over here we have the plane and this is the typical uh, shape of a uh, mob farm. Which is currently empty. So let's head back to this way. Let's head back back to our base and then we will have a quick nip into the uh, nether to visit some of the uh, other places that are of uh, interest. And uh, by the way Oh, we missed this building here. I skipped that, unconveniently. I tried some new designs out. Uh, um, Hardly successful. I'm, I'm quite happy with the with the lower part, but the the middle part it, it's it's lacking depth. Um, in here, uh, there is the uh, village breeder. Which seems to be uh, broken because there should only be uh, 
to inside here and this is the output which goes to a mini trading hall that's over on uh, this side This contraption here I uh, used to uh, trap zombie villages uh, to cure them. I find that uh, easier than uh, mine carting villages over from the uh, village, which only has three left. And in here it's uh, cartographers, or there were cartographers. Um, priests to trade uh, all my rotten flesh uh, uh, for uh, emeralds and then librarian and I basically only use this one for the uh, mending uh, but now let's let's get back uh, top side and into the nether. So up into the uh, nether. We are close to the top. Originally I spawned way down there, there but uh, I moved the portal uh, up here. Uh, so that I could uh, put in a uh, railway uh, all in the uh, nether and this way I broke out uh, through the top and up here we have a gold form also not uh, my design, I think this one is by Il Mango and it's pretty efficient but not as efficient as uh, it could be because in my experience uh, once I get up to uh, XP level 80 um, the zombie pigments are no longer uh, angered so uh, it's not that great for uh, AFKing here but uh, usually I use this farm mainly for uh, for XP and uh, well you don't need that that much and below here there is a, a smelt array for all the uh, iron swor swords to uh, craft into uh, golden blocks and down we go And over there, there is a lingering iron golem that fell off. Apparently, they didn't take uh, full damage. And I think there should be a second one uh, somewhere. Well, down here we have the uh, Nether Railway Hub, which connects to uh, eight different places. And um, uh, this design I copied from uh, Hellish. Um, not sure if he came up with it. But what we have here, we have the uh, mob farm that we have seen. Then the Mesa biome that I pointed out on the uh, on the uh, map. Uh, 
we have a fortress with a blaze farm. We have a mushroom biome way out. There is a jungle, then the desert where I harvested uh, the uh, all the sand, the uh, end portal, and the swamp where I collected uh, all the uh, initially all the uh, slime. So uh, let's have a look at the fortress and then finish off with the jungle. See you once I get there. And here we are with two holes in the ground and there is uh, also a staircase that leads down. We want the one that doesn't have a level and jump in. So, in this fortress we have a blaze farm, as noted on the uh, label for the uh, destination of the railway. And there is also a wither farm. And first we will head to the uh, blaze form which as you might guess is not my design um, I tried to optimize it because uh, blazes uh, got stuck in uh, in places so uh, let's get down here obviously I don't have my good sword that's me and hit some blazes And we should see them collected here. But we also have a wither farm. Uh, which is all the way to the other side of the entrance. So I'll see you back there. The with the form is this way. Down here. And I think the design there is by Cycroft or some of the Cycroft guys. So in here we should see some mobs spawning. No, that's the door. Well, I can hear mobs. And probably if we turn around should see them ah yes there are widows basically I'm interested in widows because of their skulls of course But I guess you know how these kind of farms work. So I will see you back at the uh, central hub. Um, last destination I want to show you is 
the jungle biome. We up in and the minecart. New minecart is dispensed. And then it goes on and on to the right track. There is a power drill about every 32 uh, meters, blocks, whatever. And jungle is way out there. So uh, I will see you at the other side. And so we are here again for this last segment of this world tour in our jungle biome hut. Um, I'm a bit proud of the design of this hut uh, with uh, melons and pumpkins as the floor and housing basically um, this map of the jungle. We are here on the uh, basically uh, southeast corner of the jungle. Uh, from the outside it's raining as it should in the jungle. And it's built into a, a hillside and basically that's it. There is not much uh, else in here uh, in the jungle, no, no uh, uh, buildings, but basically just a, a jump off uh, a station uh, for when I need stuff from the jungle. So, for a last word, let's head back to uh, the uh, base. And so we're back here, almost where we uh, started, to uh, recap my plans for the next game, or the next map. Um, basically, I will have to uh, hone my flying skills because the uh, number I died uh, in the void, it's just insane. And uh, then there are also some uh, farms I want to build. Different farms, of course, so one obvious different farm is the uh, iron farm which will no longer work in version uh, 1.14 but uh, we also will have a uh, uh, gold farm uh, then I want to make uh, uh, unify the uh, uh, nether farm that uh, basically collects uh, all the drops um, I also, as as I started this map uh, with uh, 1.12 and then upgraded to uh, 1.14 and uh, explored large portions around the base, so I did not really uh, uh, see much of the uh, features of uh, 1.13 uh, in the game itself, so uh, that will also be uh, something interesting. Then, of especially uh, uh, the the kelp from in combination with the uh, 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 auto smelter, there will probably also be a, a sorter, but I guess a bit bit different. Um, then, what else? Um, there is also a sign here which says automatic mining. That was an idea I had for uh, basically a uh, mine out a mesa biome with uh, uh, flying machines as done on the Cycraft server. I still want to try that, 
but in combination with uh, with different uh, things like uh, uh, chunk loading and uh, transporting uh, the uh, items back through the nether and uh, yes well that's just uh, some ideas. Let me know if you uh, are interested in seeing the results or uh, in seeing uh, uh, the progress there. Um, and uh, based on the feedback, uh, I will decide if there will be future videos on this topic. Thank you for your time and listening till the end. And it stopped raining. That's nice. Goodbye.